This is the eighth video for the ethics and legal considerations part of the animal chiropractic class. I'm going to provide a very brief and very general discussion about advertising. The problem with advertising rules is that every state starts out with the same basic premise. Advertising is allowed unless it is false, misleading, or deceptive. The problem is that when they start applying what's false, misleading, or deceptive, it becomes confusing. Every state has different perceptions about what's false, misleading, or deceptive, what's permitted, and what's not permitted. So my best advice on advertising is to start by looking at your state's rules. If you're a veterinarian, you know to look at the rules for veterinary practice. If you're a chiropractor, advertising or wanting to advertise animal chiropractic, you should probably be looking at both the veterinary rules and the chiropractic rules on advertising to be certain that both boards will be satisfied with what you are proposing. So the basic rule is that advertising should be honest. So the first question is whether offering to treat animals is practicing veterinary medicine. I'll show you an example in a minute here, but most states have a provision that says if you hold yourself out as being available to treat animals, then you are practicing veterinary medicine. Several states have interpreted that and used it to discipline chiropractors who advertise directly that they offer uh, animal chiropractic care. Sometimes even though they have been very careful to phrase that advertising to make it clear that they provide treatment only uh, after referral and or only under the supervision of a, a licensed veterinarian, the veterinary boards will try to discipline those chiropractors. So the conclusion here is that even though offering to treat animals may not seem like you're practicing veterinary medicine, the state boards do look at it as practicing veterinary medicine. Now keep in mind that many practicing veterinarians are very jealous of animal chiropractors. They, they view that as a threat to their client and patient base. And they try to, everything they can do to discourage animal chiropractic and to discourage animal chiropractic care. So they will file complaints with the state board if they see chiropractors advertising directly that they will treat animals. Is it misleading for a chiropractor to advertise that they provide animal chiropractic care? Now, my personal opinion is that if the chiropractor is clear, the advertising is clear, that they treat animals only under the appropriate circumstances and only with the supervision of a licensed veterinarian, that advertising is not misleading. And it should be permissible advertising, and it should be protected by the Constitution and the First Amendment. You know, one of the nice things about this area is that the pharmaceutical companies and the legal profession have created a series of Supreme Court cases making it very clear that commercial speech or advertising is protected under the First Amendment and that the state can limit or prohibit advertising only when that advertising is false, misleading, or deceptive. So kind of as a corollary, I would ask, is it misleading to advertise prescription products directly to the public? I know that if any of us have watched any, spent any time watching TV, we've seen advertisements for a handful of prescription drugs that are being advertised directly to the public. Now, those drugs may not be available without a prescription, and they may require a visit to a doctor to obtain that prescription, but the pharmaceutical companies have fought long and hard to obtain the right in court decisions that protect their rights to make those advertisements directly to the members of the public. I think an analogy could be made that that same kind of advertising should be permitted by animal chiropractors who are not licensed veterinarians. But even though I think that's right, I don't think many of the boards agree with that at this point in time. I think many of the boards view that kind of advertising 
by an animal chiropractor as practicing veterinary medicine and as an advertisement that could be misleading or deceptive. So they will take steps to discipline chiropractors who advertise directly. Now that creates a difficult situation for the chiropractor. How do you build a practice when you can't advertise or communicate to the public? What chiropractors can do is communicate to the veterinarians who can refer patients and supervise the care. Build your rapport with those veterinarians. Spend time at events where veterinarians will be present so that they can see that you're comfortable around animals. Help communicate to them that you understand how to provide appropriate care. Now this is the kind of statute that is usually used to discipline advertising by chiropractors that they provide animal chiropractic care. Basically the practice of veterinary medicine includes not just treating animals, but representing that you're engaged in the practice of veterinary medicine or that you treat animals, or offering holding yourself out or treating any animal disease, pain, injury, deformity, or physical condition, or of course using any words, letters, or titles to create a belief that you are engaged in the practice of veterinary medicine. So the point I want to make here is really for the chiropractors taking this class, you have to be very careful about how you advertise and who you advertise to. If you put out a general advertisement to the public that you will provide animal chiropractic care, you are likely to draw a complaint from the Board of Veterinary Medical Practitioners. So be very careful and, and, and begin with communications directly with two veterinarians. And if you find a veterinarian who is very comfortable with animal chiropractic and very comfortable referring patients to you, Perhaps that veterinarian, perhaps you can advertise through that veterinarian, or perhaps you can become an employee in that veterinarian's office so that they can include you and your background information on their web page. Now, of course, in states that allow you to treat animals directly, of course, that's only Oklahoma at this point in time. If you advertise in Oklahoma, you may advertise directly to the public, assuming you've got the proper certification to treat animals without supervision. So the message here is really just a caution. Be very careful. What you think is okay as advertising may not be okay under the rules for the, of the practicing veterinary medicine.